Hi, this is Cheryl Swalji from Astral Connections, and here with me I have Richard Leewald. Am I pronouncing that right? It's fine. That will do. <laughs> <laughs> well, what is it? It's uh, actually Leewald. Leewald. It's a German name. Okay. Okay, but most people say Leewald. <laughs> That's okay by me. <laughs> okay. Um, Richard is a lecturer, he's a researcher, and he wears a lot of hats. I'm not really sure where to narrow it down to, but he's a nature health and wellness expert in my books anyways. Um, I, I consider you're an encyclopedia, actually. Well, thank you. <laughs> yeah. So tell us a little bit about yourself. How did you get into wanting to get into the subject of health and wellness and, and learning all these intricate details about what our body requires to, to be at its optimum? Well, I think my roots probably go back to where I was born. I was born in New Guinea, Dutch New Guinea, down by Australia. And uh, there, so basically, we lived on the edge of the jungles, right? And, you know, conditions were fairly primitive. And wow. um, anyway, so, you know, I, I felt always very connected to nature. So a lot of times when I had spare time, I would go into the jungles and just look around, look at the birds and walk down the riverbeds and, you know, travel along and observe and a lot of things. And uh, anyways, uh, moved away at the age of 10, lived in Holland for three years, and then 1965 came to Canada at the age of 13, and then got into a bunch of things, you know, the music of the <laughs> 60s, played I love music. and rock and stuff like that mm -hmm. in, in high school. Um, got into studying, went to BCIT and took up with electronics, wow. and graduated there in 1972, and then uh, became a serviceman. But as I in electronics yeah. specifically, what in electronics? Well, it was uh, more digital electronics okay. in those days, but I ended up doing uh, repair of uh, photocopy machines. So, um, but as I got out of basically uh, high school and into, if you went to BCIT, um, I also got kind of connected with some people that were involved in the health food industry, so to speak, okay. and one of the first guys that I connect up with was a gentleman by the name of Joseph Boucher and he had a store on Hastings in Wellington Who's way Joseph? back. Who's Joseph Boucher? Joseph Boucher is a friend of mine. He's been a friend of mine. Uh, I saw him last night even after I left oh, wow. here and uh, we got reconnected just a few years ago. I didn't see him for many 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 years and um, anyways so it was kind of interesting and, mm -hmm. and but he basically introduced me to people like Dr. Bernard Jensen and Dr. Christopher Paul Bragg and uh, what's his name? There's a few other well-known doctors in those days that wrote books and that were Well, Kevin good Trudeau nutrition. comes to mind when well, I think of these things, yeah. but... Kevin Trudeau was sort of who a lot of people can identify right. with. Okay, but these people I mentioned are either in their Pioneers. 90s or they've already passed out of the scene now, right? right? But um, uh, it took me back to my roots and so from there I just got really interested into health, nutrition, just anything that can do, uh, you know, got into figuring out what supplements can do for us. But it's funny that after all those years, my emphasis is, you know, the most important thing we can do for ourselves is the food that we consume. Go back to good, wholesome nutrition. It is the most synergistic way to get your nutrition up and get your body in a, in a healthful way because a lot of people are kind of eating whatever there is and, and not, you know, because it's go with the flow. Oh, maybe I should take my supplements instead, right, to keep myself healthy. Yeah. But remember this, the word supplement is not replacement. Right. And this is well, where a lot of people are focused on. It. Right. Um, question for you. Would you say that, like, I mean, a lot of people, I would say, eat very unhealthy these days. And, you know, with fast food and, and, um, and our eating styles, is there a way for us to reverse what we've done to our bodies? Oh, absolutely. I, I tell people it's like this, right? Consider your body just like um, an elastic band. And if you took an elastic band and all you did was just pull on it and stretch, it's going to snap, right? right? So likewise, it's going to happen to your body. But, you know, just how we live, uh, just remember this, that it's sort of like an 80-20 rule if you follow that. You know, if you pull on it and give back, right? So 80% of the time, do really good to yourself. Right. It's amazing. Um, the capacity of our bodies to heal. After all, you cut your hair, your hair grows back, your nails cut yeah. your body, right? And it's yeah. The capacity to heal belongs to you. 
right? I, th and I always think it's amazing how little kids, when, when they get hurt, they scream and they grab their, their wound and, and, you know, everyone's always fussing over them, but those are all natural healing things. Oh, absolutely, not? yeah. They, they can, children heal just phenomenally, right? Yeah. And uh, we have to remember that, that it is till your last breath, okay, literally, you're, it's sort of like an instinct that's built into you. Your body wants to heal, so if you work uh, with that in mind and just taking care of this, right? Just do the maintenance, right? Mm -hmm. If we, anything that we have, uh, a car, we know that if we take good care of it, uh, it's going to last a lot longer. So do the oil changes and whatever else, right? Take good care of that that way. And that's an unfortunate thing because when you're born, you come to this world, you don't, didn't come with a manual to say exactly, okay, this is what you need to do to yourself in order to get your 100 years with quality, right? right. So it's all about quality too, because we don't know if a truck hits us tomorrow or something happens to drop out of the sky. Sometimes we call them accidents, you yes. know, but <laughs> uh, <laughs> anything's going to happen. Perfectly normal person can all of a sudden, for whatever reason, leave the scene. Yeah. But you, So because we, we haven't got that really built into us, we should really strive for quality, you know, know for yourself. And I think this is a good part that a lot of people are lacking. Mm -hmm. They sort of come into the scene and what our whole society, our whole programming has done is has made us very good consumers. And we buy everything they present to us. And of course, it's always, you can tell. Right. Who do they target to always? The children. Because yes. when they get the children, they know they get the parents, right? Mm -hmm. You just watch that if you go to the stores and the parents are maybe going along. And mommy, like, mommy, you want that? And, you know, they cry and they do this and they throw a temper tantrum and the mom says, okay, put it in the basket and on they go. Yeah. And so, you know, McDonald's or any of these companies, they're targeting children. So, so we're anyways, almost conditioned from a very young age. Totally. And we allow... And our body's conditioned yeah, to be exactly. unhealthy so, instead of healthy. Exactly. Basically. So you watch even the young children today, yeah. right? Uh, the supersize, you know, what we consume, right? It's just empty calories yeah. and we're just adding the pounds and more and more. And My Jim Michael Moore's more movie. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, there's many really good uh, people that have put um, videos together, mm -hmm. programs. By when you in, investigate what really is going on in the industry, you know, the, the food industry and so on, that it is not food, you know, it's just emptiness. So we tend to bulk up uh, with empty foods. Here's the thing, that we have a mindset today. We're living to eat, we're eating all the time. We're having snacks, coffee breaks, lunch breaks, dinner, whatever else, and we're snacking instead after that before we go to bed, instead of eating to live. And that should be the strategy, right? right? right. So now you're a little bit more uh, cautious as to what you put into yourself. And very often when people begin and um, they're eating you know, junk foods basically, void of nutrition, what happens is that a person gets hungry, but really what is happening is that the body is saying, or the cells are saying, give me nutrients. And um, <clears throat> we're programmed to say, more food. <laughs> so we're just piling on this food and uh, we're causing our blood sugars to rise and everything else. And then when we come crashing down, it's just like, oh, oh, give me more food. And we eat the same stuff over and over again.